when you're going back to work after having a baby, one of the biggest things that I've had and that I've struggled with myself is getting your confidence back. And I am definitely a fake it till you make it type of person. So I'm always getting accused of being overconfident because I think I try so hard, it all comes out wrong. Whereas actually inside, I'm like totally crippled with um, worry. After you've had some time off, whether you've had a little bit of time off, a long time off, you're going back to the same job or a brand new one, your confidence is going to have been knocked by just being out of the workplace for a while. So here's some thoughts from me about stuff that I've done that have helped. The first one is to uh, think about what you're going to wear and what you're going to look like. It's so trivial, but it massive boost for me. Every time I've gone back to work, I've gone and done some shopping, got myself some new clothes that fit my new body shape. You know, yeah, this boob's over here, this one's down there. <laughs> Nothing's going to fit me from before. So it's kind of makes me feel much more confident in myself to feel that I'm looking nice and my hair's done and and then on the weekends I totally do the opposite no makeup leggings and I feel totally in mum zone and I think having that sort of separation between the two things helps my confidence at work having that focus is another really good way of building your confidence by being completely there and completely present and then you're feeling like you're not distracted and you're not half in two worlds so I asked the nanny, can you only send me pictures of the kids on a Friday at the end of the day rather than every single day getting little pictures of what they're up to? Because it just puts me in two worlds and I can't um, feel that I'm doing a good job of any of them if my brain is kind of separated. You know, any sort of day-to-day -day requests that are coming through on the childcare, they all go to my husband and then I'm there for emergencies because he finds it fine to kind of flip between the two. I had to get used to the fact that the things I used to find easy, I have to really find difficult now so really prep and prepare ahead of time so allow yourself that bit of extra time maybe the night before to kind of go through what's your agenda the next day what kind of things might come up and what can you kind of say and just get used to having to do that again um, because you can't be as off the cuff and spontaneous and once you've had a few good sessions and you've made a few good points or whatever it is in your role um, you can start to feel quite confident again but it doesn't come naturally anymore it's definitely more of a of a thing I have to think about ahead of time. So most of all, just be kind to yourself. You know, you're a working mum, you've got a lot on your plate. You don't have to be smashing it at work and smashing it at home all the time, you know, because who does? And <laughs> just have confidence in the fact that you are doing your best for the place you are right now and in that moment you're trying your hardest and have a mum friend at work and sit in the loo and cry sometimes and be amazing at work and celebrate that sometimes. So I'm trying to do a little series about being a working mum. I hope this helps you just to know that other people feel a lack of confidence as well that probably doesn't show on the outside but we're all feeling it inside. If you've enjoyed this video give it a little thumbs up and a like and subscribe for more working mum tips.